At age 18, I fell in love with the bittersweet folklore of Alaska's Mount Susitna. A young couple in love forced to separate when he was sent to war. The young maiden lay down by the shore to await her lover's return, and with each passing season was covered with leaves, snow, and flowers becoming a part of the landscape where she waits for him to this day. Healthcare is like the sleeping giant. It's become a part of our society's landscape, but healthcare has grown slumberous, clinging to old systems and hierarchy, while people inside and outside the system struggle to navigate its complexity. You heard the quote yesterday, America's healthcare system is neither healthy, caring, or a system. All of these are symptoms of a system that emerged and was not designed. This lack of system design impacts the people of our country and the medical communities caring for them. In our desire to find large-scale solutions, I challenge us to examine if we're leaving healthcare professionals behind. I led the design of the first Planting Seeds of Innovation event. It was unique because I used cultural transformation theory and partnership-based medicine as scaffolding for design education. The impetus was to engage healthcare professionals in finding solutions for our complex world and our industry's need for new business, technology, and delivery models. This photo of a doctor grieving alone after a loss of a patient went viral. Any barriers to care delivery can impact the frustration and stress of healthcare professionals. Dangers, whether real or perceived, cause our body to release the same cascade of hormones, and those negative emotions can become the lived experience of patients and staff. Psychological safety is key to innovation. We can create safe environments by building power with versus power over cultures. We need healthcare professionals to see beyond the task at hand and to become fully engaged within their roles. Their ideas can shift each and every one of our systems. It's scary to fail in healthcare because failure means that something important was missed or that people were hurt. Design thinking encourages empathy and allows us to use failure as a springboard to success. The goal was to help healthcare professionals attending recognize the creativity they use every single day caring for patients, building endless opportunities. Leadership support across all organizations and partnerships ensured strategic alignment and success. Our first event was in 2015, and we're planning our fourth event now. Uh, we started with the design of a medical device, and then moved on to patient staff experiences, and then entrepreneurial models. Healthcare requires rote memorization. We taught the principles of design thinking to the participants, and it should be encouraged for all healthcare professionals because Yates said, education should be the lighting of a fire, not the filling of a pail. Healthcare has a rich history of professionals who have changed the world, and today's workforce is no different. When participants were asked how education similar to PSI could impact the industry and our profession, they said overwhelmingly positive things, that this was valuable to their professional growth. We had one participant say that we could wake sleeping giants that it allows professionals to come forward with their hopes and dreams. Our industry cannot afford to remain dormant, riding the line between incremental improvement and minimal change. Strategically, industries and organizations that are slow to change need to be committed to thinking about the future in ways that their nimble competitors cannot. We have to be able to imagine something new before we become something different. Our fee-for-service world is transitioning to value-based care, redefining how and where healthcare systems begin providing care. Population health is not a new concept to the rest of the world. And earlier this summer, I traveled to Cuba with a group of healthcare executives to understand the Cuban healthcare system. We toured every aspect of care delivered to the Cuban people. Did you know that the life expectancy is higher in Cuba as of 2018 than in the US? How about if you are a pregnant female, you and your baby may have better health outcomes there than in the US. With that, every Cuban receives a medical and dental checkup yearly. Physician and nurse teams live in every community, ensuring that risks related to the environment and social determinants are addressed. An epidemiological assessment is completed yearly for their country, and everyone is categorized into a four-tiered system of being healthy, at risk, chronic disease, and disability. We met with a group of American, health, American students who were there completing their medical education in Cuba, and they shared that if a person in their cohort gets an A and somebody else gets an F, they both fail. Because if you have the knowledge to pass a test, but you don't have the compassion to help somebody who's struggling, 
you deserve to fail. They all succeed together because to succeed alone is to fail. Singular solutions will not solve our healthcare crisis. We can stay ahead of disruption by accelerating growth, projecting into the future, scanning across the globe, and within our own organizations. We have the opportunity to transform healthcare by making innovation available to everyone, not just a few. Be courageous because improving healthcare is up to us. Amplify the creativity and intellect of people across healthcare and within your own organization. We can turn that anxiety and frustration into optimism that inspires action and hope, which allows us to build the healthcare system that we know we should have. The dictionary defines change as doing something different. I define transformation as us becoming different. We can reignite passion and help people to remember why they fell in love with healthcare in the first place. Hippocrates taught us where there's a love of medicine, you will find humanity. There's a famous passage that if you want to build a ship, don't hand out tasks and work. Instead, teach people to long for the endless immensity of the sea. Flirt with wonder, imagine new possibilities. I want to hear your healthcare love story. So let's work together to wake some sleeping giants and begin designing the future of healthcare. Great job. How are you doing? Really good. Thanks. All right. Um, I'm going to ask you that one of the, a similar question. You are now queen for the day. Mm -hmm. What's the sleeping giant you're going to tackle today? You know, I think if there is a takeaway for any of this, when we did our Planting Seeds of Innovation event, one of the things that um, I learned in doing qualitative interviews pre and post event with the participants is that they didn't recognize that the creativity that they use at home and you know amongst family and in their personal life, they didn't see that crossover to healthcare. And so I think that's a big opportunity for us to engage healthcare professionals in a new way. Um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so Oriana Bodet, thank you very much.